<laughs> when it rained, the water would rush down the ditch at the bottom of the little hill, and we would play in it because there was a lot of foam on it. Of course, it would be in the summertime. This one time, I cut my foot real bad on a broken jar that was in the ditch and had to be taken to the doctor's house in Braxton. Mama could not stop the bleeding. He must have given me a shot or a big drink of whiskey. <laughs> because when I woke up, I was lying on the bed with my foot all wrapped up in a white cloth with a lot of stitches. The doctor's wife gave me a little basket with three eggs in it, so it must have been around Easter time. <laughs> Along about the same time, which I now know to be July, some of us kids were in Grandpa's barn where Sybil had taken us to play because Mama was sick in Grandma's house across the road. A little while later, Sybil came back to get us and told us we could go in and see our new little brother, which turned out to be our big brother, Sonny. <laughs> when Sonny was a baby, Mama, Mary Ann, and me were waiting on the bus in front of the station, in front of Grandpa's house to take us to the Delta, to, to Papa Matthew. Grandma had prepared a little bag of food for us to eat on the trip. The little kid that lived in the little house on gra of Grandma's was out there uh, with us, and she stole the orange and ate it. Do not remember what else was in the bag that she ate. I also remember those times we would go to Papa Massey's on Sundays for dinner, and those Ingrams would be there. I just despised them. <laughs> oh, tell us how you really feel. Uh, one other thing was when we lived down in the woods behind the Steele's place. Uncle Floyd lied, lied in a house right down. Oh, he left the lid. The, yeah. It's okay. He didn't lie. He just lived. He lied too. Yeah. Uncle Floyd lived in a house right down the road from Papa, and we were all meeting there for Santa Claus night. Uncle Jewel played Santa. Don't know where Daddy was, but afterwards, Aunt Eunice walked through the woods with us back to our house was so dark, muddy, and cold. It had been raining earlier. I stepped in a mud puddle and lost one of my shoes. That is right after the, the carbide light went out. When we finally arrived home, we found some fruit that Santa had left. Thank you. Okay, memories of Santa. Wait, let me proofread that first. <laughs> <laughs> 